Honestly, I can, I can do it. Can you just stop trying to be a hero, Stephen? Well, in the hand. Oh, no, no, he's absolutely fine. Uh, really, I am. Oh. Anyway, I thought you were going to the baby scan. Well, apparently I'm under dress for a swanky clinic, so I'm going home to get changed. You're great. Well, tell that to my daughter. I mean, at least I'm not wearing my grandchild blouse, the one I don't mind them throwing up all over. You have a specific blouse for that? Well, I'll have to learn in the hard way. Yes, I do. <laughs> I doubt anybody's going to notice what you're wearing, sweetheart. Oh, Sarah did. Oh. Listen, I'm going to go to the, the Rovers for a, a drink. The Rovers? With a head injury? Well, I don't think drinking's a very good idea. No, it certainly isn't. For goodness sake, with all that pain medication you're on. But one won't hurt. No, no. We're going inside, and you're going to have a nice cup of tea and a hobnob. Surely you're not staying here. Well, it is my home. Well, after everything that's happened, I wouldn't set foot in the place. Well, that's what I keep telling him, but he won't have it. Mm. Come on, then. Get my bag. Hang on a second. No, Tim, don't. I just want to word with him, so I'm not going to push him again. Leave it be. There's enough ill feeling. Look at him walking back into a red bank like nothing's happened. I just wanted to admit that he never loved you. Oh, it's good to see you up and about. Uh, can't keep a good man down. Are you here to drain any sorrows? Sorry, that, that's so insensitive of me. You know, it's just with Elaine, you know, most people going through a breakup, they find themselves at this door. <laughs> well, mine would be a celebration, a, a liberation of sorts. Yeah, how was uh, how was on last night? Look, uh, can we chat later? It's just. I'm a one-man band at the minute. Glenda's off playing David Bailey. Oh, sure. Uh, listen, i got to pick up my prescription, but I'll come by another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Ta. You only celebration, I Ah, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I turn around if I were you. Tim's gunning for you. He's not happy. Why? Uh, something to do with you celebrating Ditch and his mum in the Rovers. Headed to Red Bank with a face like thunder. But that's not what I said at all. Hey! Reed! Hey, what are you doing? Chicken out of the rubbish. Packing up your lost stuff. Now take the lot and sling it up. Shoot us a meal ticket to you. Took advantage of her. I want you out of her life. After everything that she went through with me, Dad, she deserves better. I've just got to pop to the co-op. I'll see you back at ours. What am I meant to do? Listen, just why don't you come down and have a, a reasonable conversation? Do one. All right, Stephen. I'm no peace negotiator, but I'd say he's not in the mood for a chat. Look, you can kick on our sofa if you need. Thanks. What that's all about, then? Mm -hmm. Elaine's OK. Shella, this is me man, Bernie, and my partner, Billy. Ah, well, that was embarrassing. Honestly, I, I don't know who is worse, Elaine or Tim. Hey, where is everyone? They're at my mum's. Where would I be without my family? Yeah. Well, at least you can trust us. Uh, yeah, and for that, I am entirely grateful. The thing is, though, Uncle Stephen, I'm not really sure that I can trust you because this is my paternity results letter. So what are you doing with it? Come on, Stephen, I'm waiting. I, I guess it was instinct. Yeah, I didn't take a clairvoyant to realize that the letter was important. I assumed it was to do with the factory, so, so my paranoia kicked in. But I, I swear, I, I never read it. Oh, really? I didn't. As soon as I realized it was from the clinic, I put it straight back in the envelope. And believe it or not, I, I do have boundaries. Look, it's, it's none of my business, but I, I'm sensing you didn't get the news you were hoping for. Yeah, you're right. It is none of your business. I didn't read the letter either. Why not? Because... Uh, because I'm terrified. I'm scared I'm going to find out that the baby's demons, but if I don't look, at least there's still hope. So what happens now? I don't know. 
It's really clear if the baby isn't his. He doesn't want me to have it. Well, uh, maybe he'll surprise you and handle this better than he thinks. Nobody wants that to be true more than me, but... No, it's not happening. Fine, then uh, the first thing you need to do is come up with a plan B. What are you talking about? There is no plan B. Oh, take it from me, there's always a plan B. Look, either the baby's Adams and we're fine, or the baby's Damon's and we're screwed. All I'm saying is there could be other options. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Like, I didn't ask you to take my letter out of the bin. Peace offering? May I? Yeah. And I promise I won't try to give you any advice. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about the, the letter thing. Me too. I am probably more angry with myself, though, than you, so... What is wrong with me? I mean, I... Oh, I, I completely adore Adam. So what do I do? I, I sleep with some dodgy guy I barely even know. Oh, say it. What? Oh, what it is you're obviously dying to tell me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm purely here to listen. I'll just spit it out. Fine. Look... Burying your head in, in the sand and not finding out who the real dad is, it won't work. I mean, sooner or later, Adam will figure out there's something wrong and, uh, well, it'll come out anyway. And in the meantime, the stress won't be doing you or your baby any good. At least just a... Well, for all you know, you, you might be putting yourself through a load of grief for no reason. Uh, the baby might be Adam's. But you won't know... For sure. Until you read this. One way or another, you need to know. 